Okay, class, who can tell me about the common cold? All right, well, the common cold was a, a disease many years ago that had many variations and was for a long time thought to be incurable. But one day a scientist named Dr. Frugenheim developed a cure for the common cold, solving the problem forever. Like all cures, though, there was some side effects. You know, increased appetite, occasional headaches. This particular cure had caused a negative chemical reaction in the body, making the body no longer able to digest processed sugar, which is why sugar has been outlawed in the States ever since. Um, but just because it was illegal and harmful didn't stop people from wanting it. You see, there was this treat once called the Oreo, was once known as America's favorite cookie, and it soon became America's favorite black market item. Yes, Stephen? What type is an Oreo? I was just getting to that. As you can see, an Oreo is a small cookie sandwich made of two pieces of two chocolate wafers with some white cream in the middle. People made their livings making and selling Oreos on the black market. One story in particular I recall, I don't really remember his name, but for the sake of the story, we'll call him Bobby. Bobby was a good kid. He had a whole lot going for him. But one day during PE, his whole life changed. Everyone was required to do five push-ups in order to pass the class, but Bobby could barely get through the first one. His PE teacher told him his lack of effort was absolutely criminal. The teacher went on to the next student, leaving Bobby alone to realize he would never amount to anything. But right around that time, his best friend Rocco showed up with a proposition for him. He secretly tossed him a bag of Oreos with a note on it, telling him to sell these to make some money, since he obviously lost his chance at a decent education. Bobby began selling the next day. He already had a few clients, and business was booming. It was probably, probably the most top secret operation anyone had ever put together. Bobby was a bona fide professional. After a few months, Bobby became the number one Oreo dealer in the world. He had more clients than any other salesman, and his special concoction was the best stuff you could get. It wasn't long before those days were over, though. He soon thought to himself, Man, I'm tired of dealing Oreos, and went in search of a new career path. Just as he had taken full control of the Oreo dealing business, he disappeared. No one knows where he went, and no one has ever seen him since. And that's just one of the many stories that came from this year, a year you now know as the year of the Oreos. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe I'll tell you more about that then. Um, yeah, be well.